Let's talk a little bit about uh, basic HydroVac. So um, single stage type brake system, one line in, one line out. Bendix, Midland, Pasco, there's a few different makes out there. And of course these units were on trucks pre-1980, right? But we still receive an awful lot, we still sell a lot of them. Uh, the farmers seem to hang on to their trucks and um, these HydroVacs are what's on all those older vehicles. So what should we do? What should we do when we install it? How should we do that? Well, you got four different lines, okay? You've got a breather line. You've got your main supply line of vacuum from your engine. You've got an input line on the slave cylinder from your master cylinder. And you've got an output line to your wheel cylinders or the foundation brakes of your truck. And then a bleeder screw, of course, to bleed the unit. There's different configurations of mounts depending whether it's GM, Ford, Dodge, whatever it is. But the principles work the same. So let's talk first of all about the breather line. What, what should we do with that line? Well, let's make sure that it's a good vacuum hose, that it's not going to collapse um, when it start, tries to draw atmospheric air. And that hose is going to run up to a filter somewhere. Could be in the truck, in the cab, behind the seat, might be up in the frame. But wherever it is, make sure that that filter is clean. Okay. Make sure that when the booster goes to suck in atmosphere, that the air that it gets is clean air and that it can get it, get its full breath. The next line here is the supply line. Now that supply line requires a minimum of 16 inches of vacuum to drive a unit this size. So a minimum of 16, more the merrier when it comes to vacuum. Um, you know, 20, 21, 22, whatever you can get. Depending on your elevation from sea level, of course vacuum will vary a little bit but for the most part 16 minimum. Within the kit there comes a, a little check valve. Now you might have a check valve already built into your system on your truck so if you do great make sure that it's working you know you can simply make sure that the check valve holds vacuum and is working properly. If not throw it away and uh, bolt this new one to the firewall or wherever you can. There's a piece of hose that comes with it two hose clamps right to clamp it so you can actually put a new check valve with the HydroVac. What that check valve does is if there's any gas fumes that sometimes develops in time, those gas fumes will erode all the rubber in the HydroVac. So make sure that you uh, change your check valve. You want to make sure that the vacuum is checked so that it doesn't leak away as well. So a check valve is simply a protection to uh, make sure that your HydroVac is going to work properly. Now let's talk about the hydraulic side for a minute you've got a line in and a line out. Now, sitting in this inline is all that dirty fluid that's sitting in your master cylinder. So why not, before you hook up the new line or your, your line to your new HydroVac, why not drain the brake fluid out of your master cylinder? Because that brake fluid is dirty and gritty and has been sitting there maybe for five or ten years. And as soon as you make a brake application, you're going to take that dirty brake fluid and inject it right into this brand new HydroVac that's got a beautiful polished mirror-like finish in there on that slave cylinder. So why get a scratch or grit and have a pro potential failure by simply just getting rid of the old brake fluid first. And then when you put your brake fluid through your unit you're going to have clean brake fluid. So it leaves here and it goes to the wheels. We recommend when it comes to the bleeding procedure of this that you start at the furthest wheel. So that would probably be your right rear wheel and bleed forward. So bleed the back end out and then bleed the front end out and then come back and bleed the HydroVac out and then you're probably going to have to go up and bleed the master as well. Now if you don't have a, a bleeder screw on your master cylinder you can crack your line. Uh, you can do that just to make sure that all the air is out. And then you might have to repeat the process. Or you might have to even power bleed it if your pedal doesn't feel right. So adjust your brakes, then start bleeding, farthest wheel, working your way in. And if you apply all those things to your HydroVac, then uh, you should have a long life out of your HydroVac installation.